Welcome back, true believers. After some unfortunate health issues and some much needed recovery time last month, I am back for this month's Black Panther League. Now next month we'll be playing the Shield expansion, but for now it is all about heroic ambushes, multi-class heroes, and wounding villains. But first, let me remind you that we are playing Legendary and raising money with Extra Life for UVA Children's Hospital all year long. You can learn more by clicking the link below this video, or going to extra going to legendaryleagues.com and clicking the Extra Life banner, or scanning the QR code that shows up on the screen during this match. You can donate today to give custom names to the cards you see in my setup, or you can receive some of these exclusive promo codes to add a bit more to your game, or you can donate to create a special match setup for a game that I'll play within the next month. Regardless of your choice, all of your donation will will go to help change kids' health and change the future. Thank you for your support, and for those of you that donated last week for Extra Life United, your cards are on the way and your custom names are in the deck. But now, on with today's game. Alright, so today, for our match, we have Killmonger and Plunder Wakanda's Vibranium. So, Killmonger starts with 5 attack, and you cannot fight him while he has more than 0. Instead, you spend attack equal to his current strength to wound him and gain a recruit. And then on a Master Strike, each player must reveal four different hero classes or gain one of the wounds on Killmonger. Any player who can't do either must discard down to four cards. Plunder Wakanda's Vibranium starts with ten twists in the villain deck, each representing Vibranium. On a twist, put any Vibranium from the city into the escape pile. A bystander enters the city as a 3-attack smuggler villain with fight, rescue this as a bystander, then the highest attack villain captures this twist. Put the top card of the hero deck next to the steam as a vibranium attunement, putting any previous attunement on the bottom of the hero deck. Now, a villain holding vibranium is considered empowered by the colors of the vibranium attunement. When you defeat them, you put the vibranium in your victory pile worth 3 victory points. Evil wins when 4, vi four vibranium are in the, in the escape pile, or when the villain deck runs out. Alright, so, uh, for our heroes today, or sorry, in our villain deck we've got Hydra. Um, I can sense some bad things happening there if the uh, endless armies of Hydra get a hold of any Vibranium. And we've got the Savage Land Mutates. Our hero deck starts with White Wolf, uh, and I figured if I'm going all in, I'm going to go all in. So uh, we've got Black Widow to accompany her, or to accompany him, the White Wolf. Uh, and Nick Fury is also in the hero deck, hiding out for now. Um, I figured I needed a little bit of extra strength to be able to make sure that I can take out the uh, take out the vibranium empowered uh, villains. Could have gone with a different strategy to try and diversify the colors a lot more um which may have been a better plan but i'm hopeful uh that that black widow is going to bring enough attack power to this game also i wanted to make sure i had good colors to help with white wolf's ambush effects here so we will see how this goes all right let's get started Oh, there we go. Scheme twist number one. All right. <laughs> okay, so uh, there no, there's no vibranium in the city right now. Uh, so next, we put a bystander in as a three attack villain. The vibranium goes to the highest attack villain, which is going to be that smuggler. And then we're going to select a new attunement, which is going to be red. Ah, oh, there's one of those good ambush effects that I wanted. All right, so we are attuned to red. Last thing I've got to do is uh, I've got to cycle one of these cards. Oh man, I feel I, I want all of this. Um, I guess I'm going to keep Black Widow around. I would really, really like to be able to do this. Tell you what, I'm going to get rid of one of these. I don't like it, but I want to make sure. I have this wounding ability around. Ah, man, there's another one. And I cannot hit those uh, those ambush effects right now. All right. So for my turn, I've got four recruit 
and two attack. Uh, for the four, I'm just going to go ahead and start by taking one of these. Hey, there's a Nick Fury. Bring in some firepower. Next turn. Oh, no! That's another twist. And this vibranium goes to the escape pod. I believe it's just the vibranium. Yes, just the vibranium. Okay, so we get another one. Another smuggler here. It's Gabriel Silar Gray. Now, no one wants to rescue Silar, really. Uh, now let's get a new vibranium color. We're going to get... Ugh. Black. Yeah, it's gonna be gonna be trouble. Okay. So I've got four recruit again. Oh no, I have to Yes, I need to cycle one more. Uh hmm. I'll go ahead and cycle this. There we go. There's another one. Uh, and for four, I will go ahead and take this white wolf. There's more KO. All right. So right now, this smuggler is three, four, five. Yeah, five. All right, there's six. Ah. Oh. Goodness. Okay. So there's another one. Uh twist to number three, evil wins number two. Get another smuggler in the city. Let's get a new attunement. Oh, it's red and black. No. That's that's definitely not good. This was a Horrible, horrible plan. Okay. Uh, and then I need to cycle. I wish I could get rid of this, but I can't. Alright, I'm going to go here. Do I have... Nope, I do not have... Uh, I do not have a White Wolf in my hand. I do, however, have five recruits, so I can just go ahead and take this straight up. And still... Man... Gone through so many ambushes. Okay, how about not drawing a twist this turn? Alright, here's our endless armies of Hydra. Not great. Oh, are you kidding me? I've only got one white wolf in my hand. There are two cards left in my deck, so. Alright, so that's two, three, four, five. Two recruit. Okay, so for two recruit, I'll take this mission accomplished. It's good. We'll leave you there for a while. For five attack. So let's see. This is three, four, five, six, seven. Can't get there. Um, I'll just go ahead and take out Siler. That is the best I can do right now. All right, I've got a lot. I've got a white wolf in my hand. One of these two cards. Uh, hopefully, I can get some more. Get some more tech. And wound the smuggler. Hey, it's Mr. Giraffe. As an actual bystander, Mr. Giraffe is that guy. Mr. Giraffe. Okay. Alright, we've got a little bit of space here. Um, okay, so I have a mission accomplished. And I have booking tech. I think what I need to do is I need to get that wound there. So let's start with the mission accomplished and draw a card. And then we're going to play this for two and we're going to wound... Vibranium guy here. Two, three, four. Hmm. 
Uh, let's see, so... This is two, three, four, five, six, right now. Okay. I've got three recruit. Okay, let's take out this smuggler. And... Let's take a dangerous rescue for three. Ah, uh, there's... There's a battlefield promotion. Okay. Master Strike. Okay, so our Master Strike reveal four different classes. I don't have four different classes. Uh, I have two, and that's it. Uh, gain one of the wounds. He doesn't have any wounds. So I must discard down to four cards. Now, this doesn't actually help me this round. So I'm going to get rid of these two. Master Strike, play another card. Oh no. I need someone stronger than these guys to show up. Alright, for four. Uh, gosh. Do I take the Battlefield Promotion? Do I take the Ambush? I think I want to take the Ambush. I need more wounds happening. Oh, green, that's good. Alright. Shuffle up. Four, five, and six. Next turn. Viper. Oh, good. Five attack. That's better. Uh, fight each player without another Hydra villain in their victory pile gains a wound. Okay, fine. Here we go. Alright, so that's four attack, and we're going to wound our smuggler. Okay, so this is going to be uh, three minus two is one, two, three, four. Hey, I can fight it this turn. And then I've actually got another four left, which I could use. Um, hmm. Let's see, so maybe I don't want to put the wound here. So I've got four, eight attack. Three, two, three, four, five. I'm thinking I could put wounds over here just to keep these guys low. That would be useful, I think. I definitely don't want these guys picking up uh, vibrating you. I don't have enough to be able to hit Killmonger this turn. So, yeah, let's let's do this. I think this is a better use. Alright. We don't want Mr. Giraffe getting carried away with any Vibranium. So, I will spend five. Defeat the Smuggler, gain the Vibranium. And then, I've only got one... Oh, there we go. Okay. So, um, actually first, Smuggler comes into the city. Then Viper captures the... Make sure that gets caught. Okay. Viper captures the Vibranium. And then we get a new attunement. All right, black. Oh, that's zero. That's that's pretty good. All right, I get. Okay, and then scheme twist. I've got to cycle somebody. Uh, okay, yeah. Let's cycle this. Okay, cool. Draw a card. Uh, I don't have the attack to be able to go after Viper right now. I have five recruit. Uh, gosh. Five recruit. Honestly, I think I'm gonna take the battlefield promotion. I'm, I'm about to reshuffle. I'm down to five cards. So let's take that as a guaranteed KO. 
And then this becomes an easier pickup for later when I don't have the recruit. Five, I, yeah, I only had one. Oops. Okay. Hydra kidnappers. All right. When you fight it, you may gain a shield officer. Oh, wow. All right. Here we go. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff going on here. Oh, wow. A lot. Uh, okay, so... I've got three possible triggers. No discard pile, unfortunately. But I could get I could get two KOs out of this. I've got two recruit that I could get rid of. I think I think that's my best option here. So I think I start by playing the ambush. Let's track this. I'm not gonna wound anything. And then I'm gonna play Command the hat, the Hatutsuraze. Uh, for three attack, a villain has wounds, so I can KO a hero, KO a card for my hand or discard pile. That's fine. Um, oh, actually, slightly better plan here. Um, let's. Uh, let's see. She she is empowered by. Heck, there's no tech out here right now, so she's just five. That's good. I may want to swap this then. I may want to do this a different way. Because I want to make sure this guy gets wounded. I don't want that four attack villain picking up Oh, picking up any of the vibranium. So yeah, let's let's change the swap the order here. Uh, let's do this for three, and then we'll play this to go up to five. We will wound this endless army of Hydra, and then for five, I will fight here, taking out Viper. I don't have any Hydra cards. Uh, without another Hydra card. Gains a wound, okay. But now I have something in my discard pile. Let's see, I've spent that attack. I can play this for two. I can KO a card from my discard pile. Rescue a bystander. That's another one. And then that's two recruit, which isn't gonna help. But for three, yeah, let's go ahead and take out the Hydra Kidnappers. Okay. Didn't KO as much as I wanted. But... I got some stuff out of the way. Okay. So, I don't have four classes. I only have two. He doesn't have any wounds, so I discard down to four cards. I will get rid of these two recruit. Oof another card uh same thing it doesn't hurt me a second time next card is that okay oh uh, let's go here for four five six let's wound oh uh, yeah let's let's wound the guy who has mr giraffe so he's down to two attack right now I've got six. Uh, for six, I could take out both of those, or I could start going after Killmonger. Oh, gosh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have the feeling that my next hand is going to be very recruit heavy. I need some space in the city, so I'm going to take out both of these. Three, six. Oh, Savage One mutates. Have not seen you in a while. 
Okay. Let's do this. Uh, KO a shield for my hand or discard pile. I may gain a shield officer to hand. I don't want one because I've already got four recruit. So I will buy covert operation. That thing is going to do some damage at this point. One attack is nothing. Alright, next turn. And then we're going to count out how much attack I can get from my bystanders here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five. Now, let me grab a die to keep track of that. Off screen. Okay, got it. Next turn. All right, here's a scheme twist. All right, so Muggler comes in. One, so two, three, three, three. I'm going to put it here on the mutates. Cycle this. Oh, I've got all three greens out. That's great. Oh, man. Lost that rare. <laughs> that would be such a great... I could. I got in the ambush this turn. Okay. Uh, the ambush would have wounded each villain and the mastermind. Oh, but instead, we are empowered by tech. I have to cycle someone. Um, I don't want to cycle that because I want the KO around. I can't cycle that, so I'm, I'm going to cycle one of these green guys. Oh! Do I have red? I have red. We are going to wound Mastermind. Mm. Hillmonger has met a possum. And he goes down to four. Okay, so that was my cycle. We are good. Okay. Uh, let's see, I might as well start with this thing. Uh, let's see. So I've, I've got mission accomplished and the command here. So if I do this first, I might draw a card that lets me trigger a KO. I think I want to keep it. Yeah, let's let's go for the bystander first. Okay, let's do this for three. And then we're going to draw a card. Good. And then one more attack. Not... Oh no, it is enough to hit Killmonger. It's also enough to take out those mutates, which I absolutely need to do. I got four recruit. Let's hit the mutates first. Go three. Alright, so I get the vibranium and I get an extra card next turn. Uh, no bonus to my bystander stack there. And then for uh, for my recruit, I'm going to take Dangerous Rescue. There's a mission accomplished. Okay. And I think... Yeah, that's it. Get an extra card next turn. Plus one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, another twist. And then somebody's got to capture this. Change the attunement. It goes to red. And I'm going to get rid of this. Oh, can I wound a villain? I can wound a villain, yes. All right, let's go ahead and wound. I think, let's see, yep, there's... Okay, one red, so this is worth four. This is in my hand. Uh, oh, yeah. And there's, there's covered operation. Okay. Uh, I will go ahead and wound here. Actually, no. I don't need to wound there. Oh, I'll go ahead and wound that to 
cancel out the the empowerment bonus. All right. All right, we got lots of stuff going on here. Two, four, and a wound. I will go ahead and wound this one more time. So it's three, four, you're down to two. Um, so I'm at four attack right now. I'm going to go ahead and spend the two to gain that and that. Bystander count goes up to six. So I can play this for six. I will kill a card from my hand or discard pile. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hand or discard pile. Rescue a bystander. That brings that up to seven. Plus one recruit. And two more attack. Say hi to Bruce. Alright, that is 12 attack. Let's make. Let's see. So Killmonger would take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, so close. Oh, but when I fight him, I also gain recruit. I need to remember that. Okay. So I'm going to spend four. Grab some wounds here. All right. Four. I will wound him. Oh, he's got a calf cramp. And then I'm going to spend three to bring him down to two. Oh, and I gain two recruit for those. And then, let's see, I will spend, I'm going to spend three to take out this bystander. Now it goes up to eight. And then I'm going to spend... My last two to wound him again, bringing him down to one. Oh, close. But I think it was worth getting rid of that smuggler. Um, one, two, three. Four. Okay, yeah. Uh, the question is, do I want mission accomplished or do I want the cloaking tech? Uh... Feel like well, mission accomplished is easy enough to get later, so I'll take the cloaking tech. Oh, there's another covert operation. That is awesome. Three, four, five. Oh, but it's not gonna come in time for this shuffle. Okay. I need to clear out as much of my deck this round as I can. Hopefully. Hopefully things come up in a good order. All right, 14, some mutates. Um, sure, let's KO that. I'm not going to gain an officer. One, two, let me take mission accomplished. All right, and then I've got free attack here, which, hmm. Gone through three strikes. Yeah, what? Well, let's go ahead and hit Killmonger. Okay, so I've got three attack. Oops. And I'm going to spend one, wound him down to zero. There's that. And then we will take our first. Tactic. Okay, our first tactic is throw from the waterfall, draw two cards, then each other player, which includes myself, will discard a card. Okay. Um, now, hold on. I did wound him once, so I get a recruit for that. It's not going to be enough, so I'm going to discard Emily here. Gain that tactic. Now I can play that for my third attack and take out these mutates. It's going to give me an extra card next turn. 
three, four, five, six, plus one is seven. More mutates, all right. Oh, wow, this is, this is good. All right, how do I start with this? That's the real question. I don't know that I really need to do a lot of wounding. But I think I'm going to just start with these two for four. I'll go ahead and wound the mutates that are here. Then, play this for three. There are definitely wounds in play. I can KO something from my hand or discard pile. I will get rid of recruit now i don't have any extra normal recruit in my uh any extra recruit in my deck at all everything i've gotten has been attack so far i do have a battlefield promotion so i'm hoping to be able to get into this uh at some point we will see okay so there's seven i'm going to draw a card and rescue a bystander that goes up to nine, which is great. I'll play this. Uh, Dangerous Rescue, KO a card from my hand or discard pile. Um, I want to keep... Oh, gosh, I'm trying to figure out how much recruit I should try to keep. Honestly, let's just, let's just burn it. So KO one, get a bystander. Brings me up to ten. Right. Uh, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Plus one is ten. Plus a recruit. Plus another ten. Ha ha. Okay. Let's start. Uh, let's see. So. Yeah. So it's gonna take fifty to hit Killmonger once completely. Oh, right, actually, and I can get the covert operation off of that. So let's do that. Let's spend five. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to spend five, three, to bring him down to four, gain a recruit. Then I'm going to spend four, bring him to three, gain a recruit. Spin the three, spin the two, spin the one, tactic number two. Altar of Resurrection. Fight. The player on your left chooses a non-henchman villain from their victory pile and enters the city with a wound on it. And then the player on your right does the same effect. In solo, you do both. I forgot that that was a thing. <laughs> okay, so let me take this. Uh, non henchman villains come in with wounds. I think the best thing to do here is grab a couple of these kidnappers. All right. So, a wound there, a wound there. Um, okay, now I'm going to spend four, pick up this covert operation. Uh, there's nothing there. Okay, so, uh, I'm going to spend two attack to take out these mutates. I'm going to spend two attack to take out these kidnappers. And I think that's it. I have four cards left there. I do get one bonus card. So let's slide that over. There's definitely a question of whether or not I finish the game by taking out these endless armies or not. Four, five, six. Next turn. 
Oh, it's another magic kidnap. Wow, I didn't think there were three of them. Ooh, this is a dreadful, boring hand. All right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I, well, okay. Eight attack. All right, let's spend two of it. Take out this kidnapper here. Um, actually, I'll spend three instead. Take out that kidnapper. And then I'm going to spend five to gain a recruit and wound. Killmonger. I think that's, that's probably the better plan. Okay. Oh, all right. Scheme twist. It's been a while. Okay. No vibranium in the city. Smuggler comes in. Swap the attunement. Yes. It is not a good attunement. And then, actually, a smuggler has the most attack. Uh, last thing I'm going to do is cycle one of these. So let's cycle that. Oh. Uh, ambush. Do I have red? I have red. Wound the Mastermind. Awesome. He goes down to three. Thank you, White Wolf. All right. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> Two of those. Three of those. Uh, let's start by playing this for one. And then we're going to play two, four, six along with two wounds. Uh, let's go ahead and put those wounds... Let's see, so... Right now, this is just a three. This is going to give me 20 attack when I play it. Actually, 22, because I want to take out this. Okay, let's... Yeah, let's go ahead and wound the smuggler twice. That smuggler, unfortunately, stepped on a Lego. Okay, so that's three, plus zero, minus two, that is one attack, so I will spend one, taking the bystander, taking the vibranium, removing the wounds, now I have 11 bystanders, so that's 22 attack, that'll bring it up to 27. Aha! <laughs> Alright, I wonder if I can buy that this turn. Let's see. So let's spend... and grab the wounds here. Uh, I'm going to spend three. Go to two. If I can find the two. Spend two. Uh, we'll spend one. And we'll gain the recruit for those. All right, now we will take our next tactic, number three, right of challenge. Each player with no Killmonger tactics in their victory pile gains a wound that was in, that was on Killmonger. I don't gain a wound. I already had some anyway. Uh, yes, I can definitely finish him off this round. So, uh, we're going to spend 15 total to bring him down to zero. One, two, three, four, five. And he was kicked by a cow. All right. He is wounded down to nothing. I've got six attack left. Let's spend two of it to take out this kidnapper. I haven't found... I haven't found the guy who gives me, like, the massive point boost. Um, okay. Gosh. Do I finish him off? Do I go here for four points? 
Uh, Killmonger is pretty low. How many cards are left here? One, two, three, four. Problem is, if two twist, if, if both of the cards are twists, or a strike and a twist, um, I'm out of luck. I think the bet, as much as I would love to take out some Hydra goons, I am just going to take out our last tactic and win the game. Scar for every kill, you get plus one recruit for each non henchman villain in your victory pile. That's going to be a lot, but I don't need it uh, because that is a win. Okay. Let's do a quick victory victory point count here. All right, four. Uh, these are worth three. Yep, these are worth three. All right, one, four, one, three, three. All right. Okay, so. That's 10 points, 20 points, one, two, three, yep, 40, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, gets me to 50 points, 51 points in 17 turns, ah, doesn't feel good. But I will take it. I'm curious, if I had fought this army of Hydra, what would my two cards have been? Twist. Oh, the Supreme Hydra. That was the guy I was looking for. What about the next turn? Yeah. Yeah. So it was... There were only seven cards left. Uh, and that was... That was definitely the guy I needed to seek. All right. 51 points. 17 turns. That is it for week one. Thanks for joining us, and thank you for your support. See you next week. We believe when we positively change the health of even one child, a ripple effect is created and felt by our communities for years to come. When we ensure our children can lead healthy, fulfilling lives, we foster the scientists, inventors, gamers, and leaders of tomorrow. You can help us change kids' health and change the future for all of us. Register at extra-life.org.